Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video going over the Windows 8 release preview. With the latest version of Windows getting closer and closer to a final release, the OS is getting much better, but is it going to be a solid upgrade? If you tried the consumer preview a few months ago, you'll see that much of Windows 8 is the same. The Metro UI is very much still here and basically unchanged, which means that you'll have an interface which works very well for tablets and touchscreens, surprisingly good on a laptop with a multi-touch trackpad, and a bit awkwardly with just a mouse and keyboard. The standard Windows Classic interface is also still included. Right now, it looks just like Windows 7 with the start button removed and a new more Metro-y skin, however Microsoft has already shown off screenshots of what it will look like when Windows 8 ships later this year, and it does entirely away with Arrow in favor of a much more basic style. There are some new features in the release preview. For starters, the Metro version of Internet Explorer 10 now has a stripped down version of Flash. It only works on sites Microsoft has whitelisted, but it is nice if you want to watch YouTube in Metro. Full Flash is still available in the classic version of IE10, and in standard browsers. There are also some new Metro apps, such as the Bing News app. It works similarly to Flipboard, with a variety of stories that expand out into full screen mode when viewing them. There's also a new Wikipedia app that allows you to view everything in a very nice Metro interface. Something that continuously impresses me is just how great Metro apps can look, especially when you consider that these apps are designed with everything from a tablet to a desktop in mind. Probably the biggest improvement in the preview is speed. Windows 7 was a major improvement over Vista as far as responsiveness went, and Windows 8 looks to be another leap, especially if you're rocking a system with an SSD. Apps open very quickly, and the entire OS just seems to respond immediately, even when switching between Metro and the classic desktop. Ever since Microsoft showed off the Metro UI and the approach they've taken with Windows 8, I've been firmly on the fence until I was able to try the whole picture for myself. With this new release preview, I have to say that I'm finally impressed. For tablets and laptops, this seems like a very innovative and new OS, and even on a desktop you can use it like a faster, more responsive Windows 7. Microsoft is still promising more new features and surprises between now and the release, likely in October, but in the meantime you can feel free to download the release preview for yourself and give it a shot. You might just be surprised. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.